beautiful and amazing crafters welcome to another video of crafting with Shanita in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this cute honeycomb base with just a few pieces of paper so for this project I'm going to be just using colored copy paper you can use cardstock but I think the copy paper is more pliable and easy to use and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a crease about one inch in width and fold it back and forth according accordion style until I reach the end. Now that I finished folding that long ways, I'm going to go ahead and fold this in half, making a nice secure crease. And with my hot glue gun, I'm going to glue these two pieces together making sure I don't go all the way to the end of the paper because I don't want glue everywhere, as you can see here. And I'm just gonna open it up like a fan. So I'm gonna repeat this process six times because six of these sheets will make a full base. And as you can see here, I secure them all together just using hot glue. Now you can leave it plain. You could add some texture. For this particular look, I used my crimping tool to add this design on the ends of the copy paper. And in this particular style, I put each sheet all the way through to create this design. You could even use some zigzag scissors to cut the end if you don't have a paper crimper. And as I more that I did more and that I made instead of just using one sheet at a time, I started using two to three sheets to speed up the process. And here I'm showing you a close up of when I'm gluing the copy paper together. I'm not going all the way to the end because that's going to keep from hot glue being all over the place and just keeping it nice and neat. And just take your time with this. It's really easy to do. And once I was finished with one, I here the second together, making sure that they were nice and snug and making sure that there wasn't hot glue all over the place to keep it neat. Now here comes the fun part, creating the base for the centerpiece. You can use straws, bamboo sticks, sticks, whatever you prefer. For this project, I'm going to use a colorful straw. I'm going to go ahead and cut out one inch strip piece of cardstock, and I'm going to add some double sided tape to one side of the cardstock. I'll leave all the materials in the description box below. This is going to be the foundation that seals everything together. So when I remove that protective sheet, I'll be able to seal my honeycomb base. Now I'm not going to secure the cardstock all the way just yet. I want to hear my straw right in the center. So that way I can use that cardstock to hide the straw. I'm securing the straw with some hot glue and now I'll go ahead and secure the strip. I'm creating um, centerpieces for a gender reveal party. That's why we have the blue and pink theme going on here. And now that I'm happy with the placement, I'm going to go ahead and finish securing the rest of the cardstock all the way across the end of the honeycomb. And there you have it. It looks so amazing. 
I'm going to do another one here. I'm showing you here how I'm securing it. Securing the straw in the middle and then securing the remaining cardstock all the way to the end. And I just want to show you really quickly, you can use glue as well. But the, when I used the glue, I felt like it wasn't as, as, as secured as hot glue. But you can use glue for this project as well. So good glue. Well, we hope you liked today's tutorial. We hope you try this project. And we'll see you on the next video of crafting with Shanita. Happy crafting!